Hey y'all, so welcome back to the channel. It is 2.30 Pacific Time on Friday, and I am getting ready to leave for Disneyland for my birthday trip to Batu, and it's also Disneyland's 64th birthday. It is also Splash Mountain at Disneyland's 30th birthday, and it is Haunted Mansion at Disneyland's 50th birthday. If that weren't enough, they just brought back the electrical parade. I haven't seen the Main Street Electrical Parade since I was... The last time I saw it, how old was I in 91? Nine years old, when it got canceled at Magic Kingdom in Orlando. So last night, August 1st, they brought back the Main Street Electrical Parade to Disneyland, which they have in the past, but I was not able to see it, so that's kind of the biggest birthday gift of this particular little weekend trip to Disneyland. So in honor of that, I figured I would do two things. Um, you're going to see an updated Disney t-shirt collection vlog, which is uploading now because I basically realized that half of the shit I owned was in the laundry and there was some gems in there. So that's uploading now. And in the interim, I am welcoming you to my kitchen because I figured now that I have a mug addiction, uh, we might as well go there too. And I'm sure I'll be coming home with some more. So there's not a lot here because there's a couple that are coming in the mail and this is like a recent addiction. I really am not like a huge at-home coffee drinker. I'm usually drinking that on the go. So I've never been a big like mug person because I've never had a coffee maker at home. I still don't. I mean, I have like a little cold brew thing or whatever, but neither here nor there. Um, so let me show you what I've blown money on that is completely unnecessary. So in my t-shirt video, I mentioned that um, for Festival of the Arts, they had a really killer figment print, very psychedelic, but the annual pass holder uh, version had sold out. Luckily though, they did still have the tumbler. So this is kind of a new test drive because I've never filmed in the kitchen. So we're gonna see what we can see. So it's just like a, it's a, it's a Tervis. So, you know, your double insulation. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty small. What is it? 16 ounces. But it's got the print that was on the annual pass holder shirt. Pardon the glare. I'm filming in daylight. So it says grow or let your imagination grow wild. Sindel's very excited. It has kind of the 60s colors that are on the t-shirt. This lighting just straight sucks, doesn't it? Let's come over here against the green wall and see if we can see it. No? I don't know, this might be the best I can do. If not, I'll have to edit the shit out of this. Um, all right, so yeah, you got figment on there. Let me actually lock my gimbal and see if that helps. So yeah, you've got like little mini um, figments kind of all over the back and it says pass holder. It says 2019 annual pass holder festival of the arts. But the best part is the front. I love the color scheme. I love that it says pass holder in the psychedelic font. And it's just, it was really unexpected. He's holding, you know, the bouquet of flowers that he's always ecstatic about. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Yeah, there you can. You can see the countries are on there as well. So pretty epic. And I think that was, how much did that send me back? 20 bucks before annual pass holder discount. So there you go. Not a mug, but it's worthy. So you guys will probably recognize this bad boy because I drink my wine out of it on the daily. Um, it is my Tailspin mug, Tailspin logo on the front blue everybody on the back it's a heavy duty mug it's really badass and the stamp of the logo is also on the inside now i just ordered um because i didn't want to fly home with a bunch of mugs last time i was at hollywood studios which is where i got it on hollywood boulevard but they have a um gummy bears one and a ducktails one so ducktails is on its way home to mama now 
Um, I do also have the 2019 Star, oh, I almost said Star Wars, Starbucks um, travel tumbler mugs, whatever you want to call them. I like these designs so much more than I liked the 2018 version, which was basically like a silhouette of Mickey with all of the little icons and prints inside. But I mean, it's pretty standard Starbucks on one side. Hollywood Studios is super cute. It has a throwback to the great movie ride on it. It's got Maleficent. It's got a Mickey premium bar. It's got Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, Slinky Dog. Um, yeah, and it says use the force. So really cool. And this is maroon, obviously. I have the Lion King one, which is actually pretty epic too. It's orange themed. And you have dinosaur, um, Safari Mickey, you have Kilimanjaro, you have Tree of Life. You've pretty much got everything you need on there. And of course, Akuna Matata on the top. Moving right along. Magic Kingdom, themed in Magic Kingdom Blue. What do we have here? We've got Orange Bird, which I'm, I'm living for. We've got Teacups. We've got Haunted Mansion Doom Buggies at the top. Sindel, do not come down right now and break all of my mugs. That's exactly what she's going to do. You've got Yoho, Pirate's Life for Me, you've got Thunder, you've got um, the castle, and you've got Space Mountain. So there you go. And then my favorite, and a little bit of more of like a dark lavender, you've got the Epcot, you've got Spaceship, you've got the countries at the top, Monorail. You've got Illuminations popping off in the back, you've got Crush. Of course, you've got Daddy Figments right there. Focus. Um, you've got Rosie, which is the best part from Horizons. May she rest in peace. Uh, you've got the land. You've got the lemons. I mean, it's just... What more do you want? Now, I do have the Disneyland and the DCA ones, but they're in the mail, so they're not with me yet. This... Um, was not something I was like super thrilled about but because again it had figment and um, I'm all about it I got the I'm not really into like the gardening aesthetic but it's a flower pot mug you got your festival of the arts or sorry flower and garden 2019 situation and then you've got daddy on the back obviously overly excited per usual staring at flowers and butterflies. So it's really cute. Um, it's heavy duty. This one sent me back 17 before discount. And it's got your little annual pass holder logo on the handle. So cute. Speaking of daddy, I got this in fall of 18 at Food and Wine, but it's still available at Mouse Gear. You can probably get it on Shop Disney. But it is, this is going to be kind of probably the hardest one to focus on. It's basically um, all of the early sketches and different iterations of Figment completely wrapped around. I'll show you the other side here. Sorry, camera's having a hard time with this one. But yeah, it's basically all of the animation um, iterations of Figment. But the best part is on the inside, you have just that little detail that says Figment and Epcot Center. And I love that it says Epcot Center and not just Epcot because <sighs> who doesn't appreciate a good throwback? So um, for all of you who are familiar with the Disney Wisdom Collection or who are not, um, basically Disney came out this year, hang on, I gotta adjust my gimbal, y'all, because such is life. Hang on, bear with me. Focus on my face. What's happening here? So the Disney Wisdom Collection is basically a capsule collection that they're doing for 2019, where every month of the year, on the third Saturday of the month, they are releasing a plush a mug, a journal, and a set of pins. I believe that's it. Um, each one basically captures a famous inspirational quote from a classic Disney animated movie. We are seven months into the year, well eight, but August hasn't been released yet. I believe that's going to be um, 
Actually, I don't know what August is. But anyways, I'll start at the beginning. Mine are still in their boxes, um, but they're gorgeous. So the first one that came out was Dumbo, and it says the very thing that held you down excuse me, the very things that held you down are going to carry you up. And it's got it, that's the Timothy Mouse quote. What's great is that everything is a different color and these mugs are stackable, which if I do decide to take them out, is gonna be amazing. And I've been just doing the journals and the mugs. I think I already said that, I don't know. Then came Mulan. Now I'm not a big fan of red, but it is, come on, focus on the mug. Um, it is part of the collection, and I love Mulan, the flower that blossoms in adversity. No, oh, gimbal. Hang on, y'all. Let me get it back on my... Hey, great movie, Ryan. You're welcome. That was in the uh, t-shirt collection. Yeah, because I want you to look at my face. These are technical difficulties, y'all. I'm going to swing you around real quick. Watch out for the whiplash. I'm gonna flip you back around. There we go. All right, so the flower that blossoms in adversity is the most beautiful of all. And it's a quote by the emperor. So there's your Mulan moment. Then one of my personal favorites, Marches was blue. I like the color. Uh, forget about your worries and your strife. Classic blue, classic, classic. Then came Pocahontas, and with Pocahontas we got a quote from Grandmother Willow, and um, it says, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. So, you know, it is truly, you know, your Disney wit wisdom nuggets. Then we got Piglet. So the Winnie the Pooh moment was really cute. Um, you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and stronger than you think so the quote itself is by christopher robin um, but it's piglet themed so what's interesting about the wisdom collection is like the plushes are the characters that match like the color so like the plush was blue the plush was dumbo the plush um is piglet but the quotes aren't necessarily by um the color or the character that's represented by that color like for Pocahontas, oh, that was blue. Um, the quote is by Grandmother Willow, but the plush that you would have received would have been Miko. And then July's was Lumiere, and it just simply says, um, you don't have time to be timid, you must be daring. And the yellow moment. So um, the... August one is, or excuse me, the um, that was June. The July one is um, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, so that one's in the mail, along with the journal. But that's pretty much where I'm at right now. It's growing, and uh, it's become a problem, y'all. So, oh, with my thermal detonators up there, I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably pick up the Sprite one this weekend. But anyways, um, yeah, I would love to get any recommendations for any rare mugs, um, especially stuff that's associated with festivals. Um, I know there's a pretty rad one for the Illuminations finale um, and a tumbler that goes with it, so I'm looking forward to picking up that next time I'm in Disney World. Sorry, you guys, I've been running around all morning and this is as good as it's gonna get. But yeah, that is my Disney mug collection. So yeah, let me know if you have any of these in the comments um, or if you can recommend, like I said, any cool ones that I need to buy because uh, eventually I'm just going to replace all of my glassware with mugs because why the hell not? It brings me joy. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, this will be up later today. So will the Disney t-shirt vlog. So if you dig the Disney content, if you dig the women's issues content, the happy period content, more of that is coming. Please subscribe. I'm trying to break the hundred sub threshold for my birthday and make my way to a thousand. So every little bit helps and um, stay tuned because there will be lots of Disneyland and electrical parade and Batu vlogs um, blowing up your YouTube uh, situation this upcoming week. So again, thanks for everyone who's supported me thus far and thanks for checking in and yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Bye guys.